call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rockin' everywhere. Booty, 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 rockin' everywhere. This is supposed to be the Jacksonville Beach boardwalk and this is supposed to be the sunset part, a little colorful with the flowers. Colors start to contrast and it's supposed to be the water. Make sure when you're painting you get the sides. This word of advice for going to painting with a twist. back with another video you guys so as you guys may know this video is going to be about painting with a twist and i went yesterday with my best friend you guys and the place was so fun this was basically the painting that mine turned out to look you guys see a video as far as to see how the painting was supposed to look like but um it's some pros and cons i want to say as far as for painting with a twist i'm not gonna lie it's really a creative place i love the idea as far as with the painting and everything like that even being able to watch the instructor is really cool but um, it's a couple of things they can improve on, but I'm about to tell you guys my overall experience on how I felt about the place. Creativity as far as for when you first walk in everybody else is like paintings and stuff probably from like previous classes And then as soon as you look straight ahead, it's gonna say painting with a twist You want to have the instructor standing on stage and it's two sets of um Desks like right here So it's, it'll be a table as far as with like 12 people where they could sit and I say right here where like 12 people could sit You have your cannabis in front of you and it'll be plain it'll be sitting just like either this way or that way and you have the paint you start off with five colors and the good thing i like about it is as soon as you walk in they're going to ask okay did you have a res reservation for a private party or a peer class so they had like two classes going on so they combined them all together we we went for the eight o'clock painting and we reserved ours online so i feel like it's better to reserve it online because you'll be able to get a head start as far as for that um some people that may run late and stuff like that reserving online is always a good choice as well too and plus you'll be able to see how many seats are left so reserving online was always good also i liked how when we first got there we were able they're going to already tell you as far as with the paint being permanent and stuff like that so you'll be able to wear the aprons and the aprons actually fit in a good size so if you even like heavy set or whatnot the good thing i like about it is you're able to adjust the straps around and just tie it to your liking um i like how like when you first sit down on the paper plates like they had like a cover on top of the um paint and it has your name on it so pretty much that lets you know that's where you're going to be sitting so me and my best friend was on the end my best friend name is chris and so yeah so we basically started off um we had to go grab our cannabis thing because ours wasn't on ours yet but however the instructor lady she was real cool she was real like jazzy in her own way i feel like they could have improved on like two major things one the instructor should slow down because like with a painting like this it was real like complex like it was kind of hard to some people some people was like kind of falling behind and stuff like that even with the majority of the colors we had to mix our colors and she already had kind of like every color on her like paint palette or whatever and we had to mix ours in so as she was talking you know we're still trying to mix in colors and stuff like that so i definitely feel like the instructor instructor should kind of like slow down when like teaching us those type of things i mean i was pretty fine on it but some, i came to the conclusion that at one point in time because she was moving too fast and i'm gonna just freestyle and do my own little thing um another thing they should majorly improve on is also the seats because we're sitting on a stool i'm gonna show y'all what the stool look like that you're gonna be sitting on all right so you're basically gonna be sitting on a stool like this for like two hours y'all like look how hard this is like this is hard that hurts my butt i really feel like they should get like cushions like these and kind of just have them on top of it like that that way it's better because like 
y'all we was sitting down for like two hours and you were able to get up to kind of like look back at your photo that's another thing she was suggesting as you continue to like paint your photo you want to kind of step back and get like a good look of where you need to like fill in and stuff like that she also gave pointers where if you feel as if your photo isn't coming out the way you want it to um we will give like a 10 minute or 20 minute uh, break to kind of like see how we can fix the photo i did like that as well too because you know you could have kept going the whole time and have like a messy photo so you know i definitely liked it that but however the seats was really a major thing to me like i was like oh my gosh these are so uncomfortable but however i love the music they were playing they were playing like old 90s music um nelly they was playing like all types of stuff like e even a mix with like pop and stuff so it was pretty dope um what else i can say about it um the temperature in there was pretty fine like it was cold that night when we went like it was just a little chilly it wasn't like cold cold but however the inside it was like a warm environment so definitely good with that you will not get pain on you like as long as you're like careful with everything keeping the apron on the apron was big enough to cover my thighs when i sat down and i got some big thighs so like you're definitely good on that also um with her being on the microphone set that helped out as well too because we were able to hear her at the same time but she was just moving so fast with a lot of things like we're mixing colors in and she's already painting in her clouds and stuff you know so definitely that was a good thing i felt like the class was like a learning experience because we were also able to talk with other people it's a good way to kind of like get to know people as well too because like the ladies it was so funny the ladies beside us like they were moving so slow like they was just like man my picture don't come out as good as how hers looks so that was pretty funny as well. I said, that was the end of my instruction like said, um, if you want to take pictures and all that stuff you come up on stage and take a picture so another good thing I like about the vid, um, about the picture YouTube is um, how we were able to mix in the colors. So we started off like at first just doing a white line across, and then that's when she had to start working our way up with like the orange on the side. We worked in layers as we, as we got to the top, and then like we ended off with like red at the top, and then it started merging into pink. We kept mixing pink. Uh, the red and white a lot to make a pink color as well too and then she had us kind of freestyle with the clouds like i know clouds aren't purple and stuff but it was just like pretty dope but overall like i feel like with her just just talking so fast everybody picture didn't turn out how they wanted to but after you got done with the class you were able to like go around to see everybody painting so that was nice as well too <laughs> just so funny because right? you <laughs> <laughs> you just <laughs> I can't even be serious. <laughs> you All right, so yeah, YouTube. I basically just feel like you guys should check out um, Painting with a Twist. I feel like it was a good experience as far as for when I first went for my first time. Um, it's like a cheap outing to go with as well too everything just depends on how much you're trying to pay for the painting i know like if you want to do it on a wood canvas it's more money than to do it on just the like the regular one but um other than that it's great music plus you're able to like sip wine as well too like but we wasn't able to like we didn't do all that though but you're able to bring like your own wine bottle and stuff so i think that's nice as well but for the most part it's a good outing to do here in jacksonville they have multiple um locations if you guys check out the website and everything like that but in the meantime i'm hoping everybody have a good sunday and don't forget to comment underneath the video because i do check out the comments but everybody have a good one peace y'all